Happy New Day. Happy Tuesday. Today is the day to get moving. Listen, Monday, you know, it has you a little time to get your emotions together, you know, so you can get yourself going for the weekend. Tuesday is when you hit the ground running. So make sure you uh, create you a list of things that you're going to do today and kill that to-do list. All right. Um, I wanted to hop on today to talk about something that um, people try to avoid, you know, because it's like, oh, I'm so busy in the morning. I have all of these things to do. I can't do it. Peace, Yolanda. Um, but listen, your morning routine is really where it's at. It really, truly is where it's at. And what it is, is that vibration that's going to keep you, keep your mind positive and keep your vibe high. And that's what we really want during the day. So um, on an energetic science level, when you sleep at night, you slow down any kind of imbalance momentum that you may have going on energetically. When you go to sleep at night, you know, it's like your whole body is resting. Your mind is resting. Everything is resting. And so, if you had any kind of momentum going energetically that was going against the flow of your positive current, the flow of your, your balance current, then once you rest, it slows it down. So, that's very beneficial. So, as soon as you wake up in the morning, you have a choice to either, um, you know, keep that momentum positive or start going down that road that you really shouldn't, you, you really don't want to go down, which is, hold on, no, nah, no, nah. which is um, that road of, you know, imbalanced thinking, you know, I like to say imbalance instead of negative thinking, because I don't really feel like there's a negative or positive, it's like, it is what it is, but there is a such thing as aligned and not aligned, or balanced or imbalanced. So your morning routine is really where it's at. You want to get your morning started on a good foot, <laughs> you know, get out on the right side of the bed, you know. So I'm pretty obsessive about my mornings. I'm pretty obsessive about my mornings. So in the evening time, I'm definitely like doing everything that I can so that my morning can be filled with morning meditation, kind of just some cleansing breaths, some affirmations, you know, I, so I just wanted to give like a, a quick, at least my morning routine that keeps it simple. You know, I think when people think morning routine, they're thinking, oh, I got to meditate for 30 minutes. Then I got to levitate for 20, <laughs> but that's not what you have to do. You know, you can do something as simple as make it a point to when you get out of your bed, speak a positive affirmation for the day. You know, that can be something simple. But what I do, I burn incense. You know, I may burn an incense. I try to pick the one that I'm really vibing on. I've been vibing on sandalwood lately. So I'll burn my incense. <clears throat> I'll turn on some like Abraham Hicks or um, Louise Hay or Muji or something like that. You know, not necessarily motivational, but something that's going to get me in alignment with my thinking because the power is in your thoughts, your mind. And that's in the morning time. It's like, all right, we're so accustomed to now the day has started. Let me start thinking. And our thoughts is what oftentimes get us in trouble or oftentimes save our life, you know, get us, you know, manifesting the way we think about things, our belief system, you know, thoughts we keep thinking. And so I like to listen to something that's going to get me vibrating on a thought that is going to keep me in alignment. And um, this word alignment, I want to be clear. Alignment is, you know, tuning into that knowing, knowing that everything is a divine order. Everything is always working out for me. So I need not worry. You know, all I need to do is just make sure I stay balanced and make sure my intuition stay keen, make sure I'm listening to my intuition, make sure my gut, um, I'm tuned in with my gut feelings and I'm moving in with in inspired actions, with my inspired actions. Because oftentimes we're so wanting whatever we're desiring that we want to make it happen or uh, figure it all out, you know, when really it's being in tune and obeying, you know, spirit, what spirit is telling you to do. And spirit is your, is what are you inspired to do? So what do you feel good doing? You may have a billion things to do in the world, 
But those things that you really feel inspired, like it takes you no effort, you really are kind of happy about doing it. Those are the things that's really going to catapult you to the next level. So I have my incense burning. That's just aromatherapy, which um, goes deeper than what you think. It's not just a good smell. The, uh, the, the sense actually triggers different chemicals in the brain that helps you to get stimul stimulate the right parts of the brain. <laughs> So that you can stay in alignment. I also have my um, something playing on. Um, if it's not Muji, Abraham Hicks, Louise Hay or something like that. Then it's definitely like a meditation. Like a prosperity meditation. Or um, maybe a chakra. Um, chakra hertz frequency or something like that. It just depends on what it is. But either way, it's something that's helping me to get in alignment. Stay balanced. And then I drink water. Like a lot of, I think we really don't know how powerful <laughs> water is, how important water is. I drink water. I, dr I try to drink at least four cups of water. Before I drink the water, I speak over the water. And you know, because water has crystals in it, water crystals. And so you can program those crystals, you know, before you drink it. It's just like, you know, praying over your food or praying over anything. You can pray over your water before you drink it. And so I have four cups, so I, I got like four wishes. No, I'm just kidding. But I pray over it, I drink it. And then I just give thanks for my body. You know, I speak to my body, give thanks for my body. Give thanks for my body bringing me through this world. Give thanks for this physical realm. So I kind of, as I'm drinking my water, I go into my gratitude, you know. And I often add lime to the water too because um, – during the hours of 7 to 11 is the most detoxing hour. So I like to assist my body in detoxing, especially cleaning my gut. I'm very like into my gut being clean because if your gut is not clean or healthy, then your gut feelings are not in tune, believe it or not. Um, believe it or not. So keeping your gut clean and simple is drinking water in the morning so you can make sure you stay regular or just make sure that you're cleaning out any of those toxins is very powerful um another thing i do in the morning is i like to speak my affirmations so i have i'll choose an affirmation um on sunday usually i choose the affirmation on sunday that i'm going to be working with for the week or maybe just in the moment it may not be that planned out it may just be in the moment and then i chant that that affirmation i just chant as i'm starting to get ready i just start to chant oh Oh man, sorry. <laughs> my son just texted me. Um, yeah, so I chant. I chant my affirmations or it might be a prayer that I'm chanting. Either way, um, I do that chant. So I get my voice going, right? So I've got my mind squared away. I've addressed my body. Now I start getting my voice. I start emoting. I start to put something out in the universe. Now, mind you, I'm very careful with my words in the morning. You know, um, and you know, having a child, <laughs> having a teenager who don't want to get up in the morning, don't want to get up, up in the morning is really rough, you know, because it's like, oh, man, get up, you know, and then I may start fussing or whatever. But, um, oh, it's telling me to keep straight. I'm tripping. But, but I do try to be careful in the morning with my words, you know, because your words have power. It has vibrations. And so, you know, you, want, you don't want to start your day putting out negativity. So all you people who get up and check your emails in the morning, stop the madness. Stop it. No, like don't even do it. You know, give yourself some time to get your momentum going so that when you do address those emails, it's not stressful. It's not throwing you off of your square. Um just set a time for once you get your momentum going to start checking your emails. Don't answer the I do not. Don't call me in the morning. I don't want to talk. <laughs> like, I just want to be still. I just want to be in my mind. I just want to be set in my tone. And then, I mean, if people know now at this point in life, you know, it's like, you know, and I'm pretty much aligned with people with like mine, so they're pretty much doing the same thing in the mornings too. So, you know, it's not all these extra calls and trying to talk in the morning and got my mind going on something totally. No, unless I'm inspired. Like if in throughout this whole morning routine I get inspired to call my mama or call my Baba or call my friend or whatever, then I will then I will um use the phone or, or talk. But that's it. 
And so then I chant. And then that's it. My day is gone at that point. So that's my morning routine. You know, it involves aromatherapy. It involves, um, I guess, what people consider to be motivational um, content. You know, listening listening to something that's keeping me, getting me in alignment, keeping me in alignment, whether it's a prosperity meditation, a healing meditation, or something like that. Um, drinking water, programming that water and drinking it, you know, speaking to my body, you know, cleansing out, helping the detox period, and then then opening my mouth to speak. And what I'm speaking, my first words that I'm uttering besides get up, boy, <laughs> is uh, affirmation, some kind of positive affirmation where I'm just kind of chanting it either, you know, just softly to myself or I may sing it. I may, you know, it just depends on what the vibe is. So listen, that's where it's at. And you see the smile on my face, it pretty much stays on my face, you know. And even when it doesn't, if it's something that happens that, you know, throws the smile off, it's quick. I can I can quickly get it back, you know, just using my breath and changing my mind about whatever it is that is throwing me off. You know, it really helps out. So I hope this was a bit beneficial. It was kind of long. I, you know, I try to keep my video short. Um, but I felt that it was something that could be beneficial because that is really where it is. You know, it's very tough to get your momentum uh, back in alignment in the middle of the day. You know, um, the two main places, times that you can really get yourself back in alignment and on that, you know, back in that universal current of abundance flow is nighttime before you go to bed and morning time when you wake up in the morning. So, all of that, I don't have time for it. I be running in the morning. Stop. Like, just stop. You know, decide that you're going to make your life better. Like, you really, it's your birthright to live this life in a beautiful manner. Uh, no matter what religion or spiritual set that you are claiming or doing, uh, the whole premises of it is you are a child of God. You are of an omnipotent source. You are, you are powerful you are abundant you are peace you are love so live that way you know what i'm saying you got to live that way and in order to do that you have to be intentional about your whole life you feel me all right y'all enjoy the rest of your tuesday again get yourself going flowing uh you know this is the day to get stuff done so let's not procrastinate let's uh get into our power and make stuff happen and uh have a powerful peaceful day y'all peace